Thank you, Doug. The race of West Virginia's next governor is growing larger today. Daniel Burbank spoke with Attorney General Patrick Morrissey about why he feels ready to win this race. Daniel. Dave, Gina, Patrick Morrissey is the 11th candidate to announce his bid for governor. Ten have active campaigns. The New York native is wasting no time traveling across the state. West Virginia Attorney General Patrick Morrissey is continuing his seven-city tour of the state. He began Wednesday morning in Wheeling, ending in Charleston. I'm not ever going to be afraid to say that biologically men are different than women. Let's win this case, and as your governor, I'm going to be doing more things like that to defend our culture. Morrissey is no stranger to politics or controversial topics. His previous lobbying for a pharmaceutical trade group drew questions in 2016 during a lawsuit by the West Virginia AG's office against drug companies. The West Virginia bar later said this did not create an ethics issue. When I promise, I deliver, and we've won. Polls by National Research Inc. show Morsi with a 13-point lead over Moore Capito. Morsi lost a 2018 senatorial campaign against Joe Manchin by three points. We asked him why he chose to run for governor rather than another shot as senator. Right now, the challenges that our state faces, I think I can have such an incredible impact, the most impact as the state's next governor because we need a conservative fighter. He says he'll continue protecting gun rights and is pro-life. Information on Morrissey's cash on hand or campaign contributions is not known because it hasn't been posted to the Secretary of State's website. Chris Miller has nearly a million dollars cash, followed by more capito with just over 500000 Now six other Republicans are vying for the nomination. Huntington's Mayor Steve Williams is the only known Democrat thinking of running for governor. One candidate running on the Mountain Party ticket has raised $205. To put it in perspective just how expensive it is to land the governor's seat, the average cost to win in West Virginia, 8 to $12 million. Live in the studio, Daniel Burbank, Eyewitness News.